Hi YouTube, it's me, Josh again. I thought I'd do a quick update on my projects and um I did not take video but I did get the valves and the PVC uh breather in back on the engine. Um so that's gonna be uh that's one step done. So I need uh Finish cleaning the coil, uh, mount the coil, gap the points, uh, points, yeah. um, put the flywheel on, there's Hobbs, he likes it up here, even though he's one fat cat. Um, they like the back of my chair. Um, so I didn't get that done. Um, my grandma was in the hospital. That's the reason why I had some time to work on the engine. Um, she got the flu. Uh, she threw up. She gets very dehydrated. So she had to go in, into the hospital, have that taken care of, have IVs. So she's doing better um, hopefully this week since I got a little bit of time off <clears throat> is I'll uh, pick, pick back up on the engine hopefully get it running um I've kind of went a uh, sort of different way um for the generator project which is this um I was thinking since I was at Ace Harbor after work and there had this garbage 12 volt air compressor it does run it does run on 6 volts I did chop off the end right here um, because this end broke wasn't working this thing still works um, and what I was thinking is I could use this as a bubbler for the for the five gallon pail. If not, I'll do lights. I'm still trying to decide what I want to do. Um. Also for the steam show, um, I will hopefully be uh, showing my grandpa's steam my grandpa's steam engines. And I got a stand from our robot. Um. Because it was gonna go in the scrap bin anyways, so I said, "Why not? I'll take it." Um, <coughs> this is the stand. So it's at an angle, as you can see. Um, it's pretty heavy. Um, uh, it's somewhat sharp too. Yeah, so I'll be using that and displaying my my model uh, steam engines. <laughs> I actually like it up here. You know, his foot. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't gotten Hobbs up here for a while, or at least on video. I don't think he, I've ever shown him. On video, I think that's primarily been Calvin. Hobbs is the big fat cat. Calvin is skinny. Just think of Hob Calvin and Hobbs, the comics. Hobbs the tiger. Calvin's the boy, and Calvin is the small. Hmm. Um, yeah. So, got that. I might do a bubbler. Um. um. <laughs> Looks like he wants to be on my lap instead. I have a string attached to my deck and or desk, so they play with that. Um, I originally bought this uh, little terminal strip from Central Sales for our robot, but since due to space issues, can't use it. Um, this is Hobbs. Look at the camera, Hobbs. Yeah, so they like to 
play with the string, so it keeps them entertained, keeps them out of my stuff. Um, yeah, so they're, hopefully I can get that engine running. I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do for the Tecumseh 5 horse. Um, yeah, so there's that project. The Kohler engine is most likely going to become scrap or to save it for a rainy day project. I did make a uh, a guide. I don't know if I told you a guide for the flywheel that I 3D printed for a transfer punch. Punch it, drill it, then tap it, then pull. Um, I'm going to pull the flywheel or pull the clutch off. Definitely and save that. Um, I did show, uh, one of the members of the Harvest Reunion, um, basically what it looks like. He said he has a Wisconsin inline twin, not a V-twin, um, that might work. He also has several other engines that might work. We're going to have a work meeting come, uh, I think the 21st of May, so... Hopefully he's out there, then we can decide which engine. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can get that thing going this year. Um, my grandma is, she's doing okay. She's, she can't handle that motorhome that my grandpa used to drive, so they're going to sell it. One of my friends might buy it, depends on the price, and, uh, yeah, haven't, I told, like, before we went to the meeting, I told them that my grandma is going to sell that RV. He called me at work, asked how much it was. I didn't know, so uh, I let my grandma know. Um, but, yeah, um, so she knows. Um, sorry if I'm uh, seeming a little distracted. I'm still playing with the kitties. <laughs> uh, there's the kitty <laughs> right on my lap playing with the string um so I l did let my grandma know that um she might be selling it um uh, or that Nick Blotty or that's his name um you know I that's just my friend who helps me get to this the meeting so I can go to them. Uh, I might be getting my permit here soon. Um, it'll be real short, short here soon I should say. My mom sent me a uh, copy of the Minnesota Drivers uh, handbook. Uh, email it to me so I can read that and take my permit. Yeah. Let's just say Driving a car is totally different than driving a forklift. I did, uh, we went to a secluded area and, yeah. I drove a, a car for the first time when I don't even have my permit. <laughs> so, that gave me a taste of what the, what the, what driving is like. And it's alright. And my mom and I got talking. And, uh, before that, um, I took her out to breakfast. Um, we went to Super One, I get bread, got flowers, and we went to Menards. Um, basically, originally I was gonna buy her flowers for our front garden. I ended up buying a, uh, a water fountain. Um, it's a, uh, lotus and frog, um, it's discontinued, so I actually got the, the, the display model, or the floor model, for fifth, for, for about 60 bucks, originally 109, I believe, that was with tax, the 109 wasn't, but, pretty good deal, so, I made her really happy, uh, she likes lotus flowers, but she actually does have a tattoo of one. I'm not going to tell you where. But she does. Um, my mill, my, my, uh, basically, the reason why I have 
Tuesday through Thursday off is because final week and I'm all done with my classes. Yay! Me. So, I'm next Tuesday off, so I'm going to take my permit then. Um, and I'm not totally sure when I'll upload this. I'm uploading the robot competition video right now. That's one good thing about uh, iSky software. You actually can upload YouTube videos from without even have to uh, basically upload it to YouTube. All you have to do, you can do all. It's almost, <coughs> I guess, it's almost close to Adobe or Windows or I can't. Yeah, I really like it, and it's only about forty bucks. Does what I want. It does what I want it to, and I'll probably stick with it. <coughs> it's cheap there. I have full time support um, if I need it. It's kind of funky though because when you upload vid upload a YouTube video straight from their software, you go you do export, go to YouTube. You have to sign in, uh, basically if you're signed in, you have to sign out, sign in, allow them to access it in offline mode. That's just one of their perks. Then you can export it to YouTube. That's kind of weird, but it works. And I, in the software, I actually can shut your computer down if it's, um, yeah. So I can just, let it do a thing, then I'll shut my laptop down when when I'm done. So you can actually put it up overnight. It, you don't have to worry about your laptop being on overnight. Which I'm happy about. Sorry I haven't done a steam engine video, but... Eh, that might be coming soon, I'm not totally sure. So... That's somewhat in my neck of the woods on what's gonna ha what's happening. Um, I don't know if I told you, but I scored a, a bolt, bolt, basically almost a half qu quarter box of one half by thirteen nuts. Yeah, bolt nuts. Um, they do have a box. From Fastenal of the bolt, so I might score that too. That way, I have a plenty of half inch by 13 bolts and nuts. It came with washers, it came with like four bolts only, so I'll be happy. I'll, I can probably find projects to use it for. If not, I can modify the bolts, or then I'll be kind of screwed with it, all the nut, extra nuts. Oh well, I'll figure something out, and my room is filling up with the junk. Um, yeah, was, I'm, I'm kind of a pack rat. Um, I have basically a Tecumseh, the Larson, the Kohler, um, all at my grandma's because I don't have room here. Um, all, all of my grandpa's model steam engines are, are there um, in the basement. I have my three model steam engines here. I have a ro uh, robotic arm from Scientifics that I put together. <sighs> well, maybe. Well, maybe two years ago. I haven't used it much. It uses big sear sear D cell batteries, so. I might crack that out one of these times and do a video on it. Um, I might sell it. I don't know. It it's nice. It's a corner piece. Um, my desk is a mess, like always. I have to clean it off sometimes. Um, this is the compressor. It's a 250 psi 12 volt air compressor. It's from. Uh, Air Master, um, bought it for free because it was returned because the, the fitting broke. Now let me see if I, I don't, I normally don't empty my garbage for two weeks. 
So it's probably in here is my guess. Here it is. A little bit of Germax for going into the garbage. I did cut it off. This this thing doesn't work. And this thing broke off. So I just cut it off uh, with a pair of side cutters. So that's garbage. I got a good air compressor. It's nice and quiet, or sort of. And Hobbs is trying to get into the bag that I brought all my stuff home from my toolbox at the uh, school. So, yeah. <clears throat> I've gotten quite a good, good, good stuff from work and from school. And it's one o'clock already, so I'm tired. I'm gonna hopefully tomorrow return those valve spring compressors um, to my friend um, and get some more pant uh, work pants and work shirts because the two that I have um, up there are both stained. I have two pairs of <coughs> work pants that are somewhat tight and short. I have a pair of, I think they're chaps, that are uh, stained. And so I need to get new, new work pants and workers. Yeah. There you have two odds. Yeah. He's on the floor and I'm probably going to call her a day. And holy cow, I'm already at 17 minutes. So. Yeah, so this is somewhat of a ramble and update, and I can't do edit the video until my robot competition, which is about 24 minutes, um, is uploaded. So I'm gonna probably do this tomorrow and upload it. So please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.